Well, this is Chris with CraigitUsers.com. What I have in front of me is a iPad 2 from Verizon. So it's a CDMA iPad. This is not the uh, 4G, the, the new iPad or iPad 3. Uh, it's the second generation one. And we can flash it to Cricut, and that's what we're going to show here. Um, these YouTube videos are supposed to help our main thread that contains all the information for the flashing process. If you go to CricutUsers.com, and uh, or the link below in the description you'll be able to find that thread uh, items required iPad 2 which we had here you can get that from Craigslist or eBay you want to download iTunes you want to download Absinthe or um, the newer version of Red Snow I believe can jailbreak 5.1.1 in untethered format that's what we have uh, this one done as we actually have a video on uh, in the link that shows you how to jailbreak this. Um, it's separate from this video. You need DFS as a CDMA tool. Got a link for that. Discade, uh, a USB cord, one of these uh, Apple ones. Um, it doesn't have to be Apple branded, just has to fit in your iPad, of course. Um, and you also need a zip file that we have. Uh, we just called it Files for Cricket. Uh, we got that from Amoa Mare's. Um, little repo file we kind of broke it apart and put it in a zip file uh, so it'd be uh, easy to work with uh, for us um, and we also have iFile which uh, you can purchase in the CDO uh, repo uh, pretty much after you jailbreak the device uh, you'll have Cydia go ahead open up Cydia and you're going to want to install Open SSH. Uh, if you look here in the corner, you should see Open SSH Access How To. Go ahead and open that. Uh, if you've just started Cydia from the first time, it might take a little bit to load the appropriate file, so you'll you'll be able to install this. Step one: install the Open SSH package. And right here you'll have uh, install, go ahead and hit that. We already have it installed and that's why we have the modify up there. After you've done that, I'd say go ahead and do whatever it tells you to do, whether that be restart the device or res uh, restart Springboard. And open up your disk aid program. You're going to want to go into file system, root. And then you're going to see system, carrier bundles, iPad, go ahead and click 310 ZEP. Um, for some of these folders, you might have to right click and then hit open for them to respond correctly. So, we're in the actually, you need to go to the 310VZW folder, not the 310 uh, ZEP. Pretty much what we do, um, it pretty much looked like this folder. We copied that and we right clicked it and we said copy to PC. We made a folder and backed all of that up. But then we opened up our Cricut Files uh, zip. Let's see if I have it right here. And pretty much it contains all of these files except, of course, that because that is the file that contains these. Um, I pretty much drag and drop them onto here. If you open the carrier.prl and you have QPST to read this, you'll see what PRL I put in there and it's 42600 uh, this PRL seems to work very well in uh, AWS markets, tri-band areas uh, you can put your own PRL in there if you wish just stick it in there rename it carrier.prl so after you've done that go ahead and shut that down I think you'll want to install a comm center uh, if you want to get any of the branding logos uh, etc. I'm not sure there's a necessary step, but I did anyways. If you want to do that, go ahead and go to Sources, Edit, and then Add. And you're going to add this one right here, uh, Flash to Talk, which is cydia.easyflashstudio.com. Hit Add Source, and then go ahead and go to it. And you'll see Carrier Bundle Cricket. Go ahead and click that. Go ahead and, um, oh, not the Carrier Bundle, but the Comp Center Patch. Go ahead and install that. As you see, we have modify right there because we've already installed it. 
Uh, you need to get this device on Wi-Fi in order to be able to use a CDMA tool. You're going to want it on the same subnet mask, like 192.168.0. whatever. It's pretty much that the first three uh, octets, I believe they're called, have to be the same, and then the last one uh, can be different. So this device, we put a static IP of 192.168.0.8. I don't know what the PC is, but it's 192.168.0. something. Uh, go ahead and turn your Wi-Fi on, get it on the network. I use static IPs because I already added one IP or two IPs to DFS CDMA tools, so I'm always able to choose them. I don't have to hunt for the device or hunt for the new device. If you want to put a static IP, go ahead and go in there and then hit static. So you're going to open up CDMA tool. On the site, we already assume that you've uh, installed all this. You have your little log. I like to keep that open so I know exactly what's going on uh, with the device. Uh, this does cost $150 uh, for a credit to be able to access this device. You're able to access some devices uh, with no problems, but this one, uh, they charge you. Uh, you're going to click ports right here. If you didn't have any ports uh, for the Apple device yet, you'll click determine Apple device. If you do, they'll pop up down here. We'll go ahead and double click that. And then here's our iPad 2. It's coming up right there. We'll double click that and go into here. We'll go to the programming. Actually, we're going to go to account first. You have to authorize this device uh, on your account from DFS. You can create a, a new account or re-log in. Uh, basically, you're going to have to go to their site and purchase these um, credits. Uh, pretty much, you go hit Get ID, and then the device will come up there. And you'll hit Activate, and it'll say Activate Device for $150. You'll go ahead and click uh, Yes, and then you'll be able to work with it. So, you're going to want to go back out, go into the Programming tab up here. We're going to skip... Uh, all of that, we're going to skip uh, the NAM tab. Uh, we don't need talk and text. You can't get it on this device anyways, uh, unless you use like Google Voice for text or Voice over IP, but not the traditional cellular talk text. So go ahead and go to data. You're going to want to hit read so we can give you like a pretty good template uh, to work off of because usually you just have to modify a few settings. And the settings that we're modifying are all on the uh, left side here. Account settings. ACC AUNT authentication. Uh, just a few uh, little errors there. Uh, while we're, I will point out while we're reading. Okay, pretty much you might have one or two fields or whatever filled up right here. But what we did is we uh, copied our phone number at mycricket.com and just pasted them there, 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 and right there. Then we went back and we copied the word cricket and we paste it in all the passwords fields. I uh, notice if you click that it turns it into hex. Uh, I went ahead and left it as decimal so I have none of these checked. I don't have authentication require password encryption checked either. Make sure this right here is EVDO revision A. If it's EVDO revision 0 we were doing speed tests and we are getting like half a megabit per second down uh, when we changed it to EVDO revision A uh, in Austin, Texas we were getting uh, speeds of over 2 megabits per second down. Uh, pretty much bounce your settings off of uh, this. Of course you're going to be using your profile and not this one. So when you're done with that, go ahead and hit write. It'll start writing. You'll see that in the logbook. And then go to the mobile IP tab. Once you're in the mobile IP tab, go ahead and hit read. Bounce your settings off of this. Uh, we have mobile prof uh, Preferred mobile IP if you use QPSC, I think that's pretty much the simp plus mob uh, deal. It's not simple only or mob only, it's the combination of both of them. Uh, we only have one profile in here. Uh, this is going to be your number at mycricket.com again. Uh, all these were pretty much the, the right settings. The home address was zeroed out, 0, .0, 0, .0, 0, zero. The primary HA address, uh, 255.255.255.255, .255 along with the secondary HA address, so we left it alone, reverse tunnel and preferred, checked. Um, right here, when we entered cricket, we didn't have the check box. We just entered cricket there, and cricket in the other box. 
Um, if you do have a problem, enter cricket and go ahead and check it because it's going to convert it for you anyways and then write it again. But um, right here we also have our 10 digit number at mycricket.com. Uh, we hit write current profile settings and then we also hit write over here. Uh, when we just hit right there, it didn't seem to get everything. Uh, after that, you can close that. You can take the device uh, off of Wi-Fi. You can disconnect it from your computer. Uh, you'll either get a signal at this point or you won't. If you don't, try to put it on airplane mode for about 10 seconds and then take it back of air off of airplane mode and see if you get a signal. Um, you might need to reboot the device at this time. And if you're still not on Cricut or things are not working, go ahead and go to iFile. I mentioned uh, that was one of the things uh, you wanted to have earlier. Um, pretty much you're going to navigate to System Library Carrier Bundles iPad Zeppelin US Bundle or if we back out uh, you could also let's back out all the way so you can show you the full path. So we're in the root right now uh, System Library Carrier bundles, iPad, 310 VZW, Ryzen, and then carrier P list. And then we're going to use property list viewer. We're going to scroll down. Be careful if you change anything up because if you change something up and hit done, you might not realize what you changed. So be very careful when you're choosing something here. Uh, PRL push flag right there. It's in alphabetical order. Uh, we'll put it on on and then we'll hit done. We'll reboot the device and you'll have no signal at this time. Pretty much it's saying that um, there's a new PRL and that's the PRL that we need to use. Uh, you'll come back into the device, go back to iFile, go ahead and edit the carrier.plist again, turn that PRL push flag off, hit done, and then reboot the device again and you should get the uh, signal back. One thing I should have said before you do this, uh, just check if your uh, PRL uh, correctly set in your device. Um, you probably want to do that before and after you're doing this PRL push flag method. Uh, go to settings, general, then go to network. No, don't go to network, go to about, sorry. You'll see because we pushed over the, all those uh, files, you'll have Cricut right here, we got Cricut up here, we got, it says Cricut right there in the carrier, and we hit it again, the PRL 42600 like we wanted to set it, is in there. If you don't have a Cricut PRL in there, uh, you did something wrong, look at our forum, look at the video again, try to retrace your steps and make sure you get a Cricut PRL on there. Um, let's take it off of Wi-Fi. Make sure all your data is uh, active on the uh, phone, the cellular data. Make sure that's on. We turn data roaming on. It can't hurt right here because um, Cricket won't charge for roaming. Uh, if you're in an area where you're trying to roam, it just probably won't roam. Let's go back out. We'll open up Safari. It's on 3G. Let's go to search what's my IP address and really I love this device so much and it really works well on Cricut um, using a data profile of an Android uh, for an Android plan um, since that doesn't require a proxy I mean it works so well that I actually put one of my Verizon lines on the iPad 3 uh, really if I had the money I would keep both devices because I would love to have two uh, between my girlfriend and myself. The device is so nice. I definitely don't want to share it all the time. And if we look right here, we'll see ISP, Cricket Communications. Let's go to additional IP addresses or details or whatever. Um, you'll see here EVDO, LeapWireless.net. Let's go back. Um, we can't guarantee that the speed test will be good right now. It's 3.12 in the afternoon. That's probably a busy time. People coming home, streaming audio in their vehicles. Who knows what they're doing. Ping time of 89 milliseconds. Like I said, this morning we were getting 2 megabits per second down. 
For right now, we're getting a little bit under 1 megabit per second. 9, uh, 0.92 megabits per second, uh, roughly 920 kilobits per second. And an upload speed of 0 0.04 uh, megabits per second, which is only like 40 kilobits per second. But like I said, it was faster this morning. I don't know if the count that this uh, device is on has been um, throttled because of usage. Um, but basically, it works really uh, well and pretty much everything you can do on Verizon with their 3G iPad 2 you can do on Cricut with your uh, flashed uh, iPad 2 so we're always working on these devices thanks a lot for supporting us please like this video apparently if you like the video uh, we'll get more viewers we'll be able to do more a little ads will pop up more and that'll give us more money to buy devices do a little bit more research and put it out on our forum pretty much we try to put everything out on our forum so by you watching these videos it helps us out and enables us to do more uh, like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cricket users also favorite this video and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel